Hey everyone, so it's Alora here and I just want to say that this is going to be a coral reef tutorial and it was inspired by summer and coral colors so I decided to name it Coral Reef and I hope you ignore my nails in this video because they're coming off from all the swimming and stuff I did today and if my eyes just, you know, looked a little glossy and yeah, it's because I was in chlorine and swimming in my pool. So yeah, if you enjoy this look and stay tuned. So the first thing I'm doing is applying a primer and the primer I'm using is from my Revlon Cream Eyeshadows um, palette and it is in 730 Skin Lights 08. Now you're going to take the one in here that is a dupe for Max Rubin S Paint Pot, which is this one right here. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to be applying that to my lid and to my tear ducts. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline New York Eye Studio Quad and this is in 50 Taupe, taupe Temptress. And excuse my nails please, I have to redo them. I've been swimming a lot so the chlorine is killing them. So yeah, I'm just going to be taking that white color right here and taking like a concealer brush. I have a lot of these brushes so I keep a couple for eyeshadow because they're so sturdy that it's a lot easier to apply in a corner colors and stuff. And I'm just going to apply this in my inner corner and my inner third. Kind of pull it a little bit more into the middle section but just like that and just soften it up a bit they're very very like i rather say glittery so it comes with a lot of next fallout. i'm going to be taking my mac eyeshadow from the to the beach collection which was limited edition limited edition and it is in firecracker and it's like a really really pretty corally color. It kind of looks red in the container like a hot pink red but it's a really pretty coral color. And apply this into the middle of the lid over some of the white. It's okay if it goes into the crease because this is like an all over eye look. Put it into the outer corner as well. Kind of my mineral magic loose eyeshadow and it is in Aztec. I won this in Midget Makeup's contest so I don't know where you can purchase these. I believe you can only purchase them online. I'm going to be taking that concealer brush again after wiping it off. And this is just a really pretty light beige skin tone color. Very, very shimmery. And I'm going to apply this to the center of my lid over the pink. really really pretty then I am going to be taking my covergirl eyeshadow in 710 champagne and it's this really really pretty champagne color I'm going to be taking that on a highlighting brush which is like this brush right here and I'm going to be applying that over the edges right here to soften them and get rid of harsh lines and as a highlight on my brow bone just like that then I'm going to be taking a blending brush like this brush right here and I'm going to be blending in all the colors just like that and next I'm taking a white eyeliner. The reason for white and not black is because it's a summer look and you want your eyes to be open. I'll be applying this on your waterline. Just like that. And my eyes look a lot I'm going to be taking a nice fluffy brush. This is just from Forever 21. I'm going to take away any extra excess. You may use a fan brush too. 
that I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler from Revlon and be I'm going to be curling my eyelashes for three seconds. One, two, three. Now I'm going to be applying a couple coats of Lash Blast Length from CoverGirl. And that's the final eye look. So stay tuned for the face. Okay, so that's the final eye look. And now for a face, I applied my NYC Blushable Cream Stick. And this one is in Plaza Pink, which is just this really pretty corally, frosty pink. And it just complements the eyes. So I just applied that to my apples and blended it in with my fingers. And for lips, I applied this coral gloss from Revlon, but underneath it, I put in this strawberry banana lip balm. And it's like this really pretty pink, but it comes off clear, just to moisturize my lips before I apply the gloss. I didn't apply any lipstick, because this gloss is very, very opaque and pigmented as it is, and it is in Coral Reef. So it's a really, really pretty color. I totally recommend you try these out. They have a great formulation and everything. So that's the final look. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. And bye, guys. Subscribe.